welcome to Hangar Talk, a video series of flying tips, comments, and anecdotes that promote airmanship, the artistry of flying with stick and rudder. If you want to become a great flyer, a good stick, there are only two fundamental skills to master. Do not stall and control yaw. Hanger Talk is committed to teaching those fundamentals and to flying for fun, flying with style, and flying safely. This episode of Hanger Talk is the third of four discussions that aim to put a fresh spin on the dreaded stall and spin. This episode is titled Zero G Recovery. So far in this series, we've learned that stalls occur when the wing exceeds its critical angle of attack. To recover from a stall, a pilot should unload the elevator. To recover from a nose low, wing low, unusual attitude, a pilot should use top rudder. In this episode, we will discuss zero G recovery from the nose high, unusual attitude. There are two categories of unusual attitudes, nose low and nose high. The key point in recovery from a nose low unusual attitude is the use of top rudder. To recover from a nose high unusual attitude, the key point is to fly a zero G maneuver. You load an airplane when you deflect or apply pressure to a control surface. You Unload an airplane when you return all control surfaces to their neutral position. An airplane is at zero G when there is no load on it. An airplane will not stall at zero G. If an airplane will not stall, it will not spin. The definitive principle of upset recovery is to avoid the spin. This is a very nose high unusual attitude. Recovery from such an attitude applies two simple principles. First, unload the airplane. It will not stall at zero G. Second, from a nose high attitude, an airplane at zero G will follow a ballistic flight path to a nose low attitude. Reduce power to idle to extract yourself from a nose high attitude. The reduction of power will take the effects of engine and propeller torque out of the recovery procedure with power off. Unload the elevator, rudder, and ailerons. Allow the airplane to follow a ballistic zero-g flight path like a baseball. Do not worry about wings being level. You will be light in the seat near zero-g. <laughs> Enjoy the ride. The airplane is following a ballistic flight path. The nose has moved from the nose high attitude to about level with the horizon. The airplane has rolled about 80 degrees to the left. When the nose is clearly below the horizon, use top rudder and aileron to level the wings. Then apply back pressure to recover from the dive. Add power when safely back to straight and level flight. The key points for recovery from a nose high unusual attitude are no power. In an emergency, the gyroscopic force of your propeller and your less than perfect use of stick and rudder 
will probably stall the wing. And uncontrolled yaw will put you into a spin. A heavy hand or misuse of the controls during an unusual attitude can stall the wing and begin a spin event. Avoid a stall and you avoid the spin. In the next episode of Hangar Talk, I will conclude this four-part series with a discussion about spin recovery. Don't miss that one. We'll see you then. If you enjoyed the show, please tell your friends. You can enjoy monthly postings of Hangar Talk on my website, DylanAviation.com. Please consider my books and DVDs for yourself and especially as a gift for low time or student pilots. These items are available on my website or directly from Amazon.com. Thank you for watching. Until next time, this is Jim also reminding you, fly high, have fun and keep the blue on top.